Hey, welcome to Mobile News. I am your host, Dennis. Now let's get things started. This week was marked by the start of the Water Festival, and Niantic did not miss this occasion. A new event started this Wednesday on Pokemon Go that would allow you to catch more water-type Pokemon. But the real surprise of this event was the appearance of shiny Pokemon. You won't know they're special until you try to catch them, so be ready for this exciting new hunt. Pokemon are decidedly at the center of this week's news. Pokemon Go players in South Korea will not spend any of their data while playing the game if their provider is SK Telecom. SKT, whoop whoop. This deal will be running up until the end of June 2017. When do we get that in the States? The Okai Watch Wibble Wobble will be released in Europe and Russia by the end of March 2017. The famous Yokai IP gave birth to a casual game developed by NHN and its success at launch pushed the game to bigger markets. Yokai Watch counted more than 10 million downloads and a 4.5 star ranking in the Play Store. Let's hope that we get the same success in Europe. Fans of The Walking Dead are already jumping on their couch because they know that the third episode of The Walking Dead A New Frontier will be released this March on the 28th. The trailer, released just yesterday, tells us that this episode will be subject to a lot of tension. Something else that we can tell you is that Clementine has a great swing. EA announced via its blog that June would be a month full of expectations. Among its future release titles, a Star Wars Battlefront sequel will be accessible for some lucky players. We expect those awesome screenshots to come out soon. We knew that Destiny was planning something for this year, but we had no idea what it was or when it would release. Recent leaked pictures from an Italian retail store show that Destiny 2 already has a planned release date, and that is September 8th. We also know that a beta will be available soon. This date might concern the European market, but at least they get it first. Outlast 2 is back in Australian stores after being banned just last week. Looks like Australia is finally giving in to players' demands. That's it for this week in Mobrum News. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for new content coming out for you weekly. See ya!